Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for tuning in to Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So I have Webb Simpson up here playing some stellar golf since the restart. One Heritage and last week a T3 at the Wyndham. Tied for third. Loves that tournament. In fact, he named his daughter Wyndham. He liked it so much. True statement. Okay, so let's take a look at his swing. Past winner of the U.S. Open. Tremendous stats. I always like to look at those before I do a video. He's fifth in putting, 13th in, 13th in greens and regulation. And a big stat I like is proximity to hole, 32 feet. That puts him eighth on tour. So you can hit greens, but if you're a mile away, that really can hurt you a lot. So he's hitting the ball close to the hole. That's a good way to make some more birdies. That's what Ben Hogan's wife, Valerie, said to him many years ago. I got to make more birdies, Valerie. She said, well, why don't you try hitting it closer to the hole? <laughs> why didn't I think of that, Ben said. So anyhow, here's uh, Webb. So he's got a little bit of a different move here in the backswing. Very traditional setup, though. Beautiful. Um, he takes the club slightly inside, as you'll see here, um, which is fine. I, I don't think you should get overly, uh, you know, focused on every little position in your backswing because you don't hit it with your backswing, right? You hit it with your downswing. So he's a little bit more inside, a little bit more a flatter position here, right? Um, but he's making a nice turn, some restriction with his lower body, uh, turning to the top. You know, I really like his plane left arm on the original shaft line plane or power, parallel to it, head very still. These are great things, right? Little cupped left wrist, but again, some, you know, individual preferences there. We don't try to change everything. We try to, try to get the, the fundamentals right. Okay, now he's going to have a little different move here. So we went kind of inside and then he's going to come, you know, slightly above this original shaft line plane, right? So maybe a little steeper than some. This is sort of a fade bias. So, you know, some people wouldn't like this motion. He sort of took it in and, and sort of came over the top. <laughs> well, guess what? This guy's a tremendous ball striker. He reminds me a little of Bruce Litsky back in the day, who, by the way, uh, took it inside and, and over the top more than this. And I talked to Dudley Hart once, who played the PGA Tour, knew him from the University of Florida. And I asked him, who was the best ball striker you played with? This was like 15 years ago. He said, Bruce Litsky. So maybe you should take it in and come over the top. I don't know. But Webb Simpson does it. Hale Irwin had that move as well. All right, taking it down into the hitting area. Beautiful. How's that for delivery? Club on the hand line, A+. Plus. Rotating through his lower body. You can't see it here, but he smashes his lower body through the hitting area. He rotates as fast as anybody, which I love to see. Of course, it depends on your athleticism, but however you can develop that lower body move, I'm all for it. Okay, so good impact position. Ball knows impact, right? Doesn't know much else. But that's beautiful. Good hip rotation. Probably tore average in that 36 degree range. Shoulders lined up right at impact. See a portion of his left arm. That's good. Head compressed down. So this is a beautiful swing in my opinion. Um, I love his action. He's one of my favorites. I think he's a guy to watch out for moving forward here into the playoffs. Uh, FedEx playoffs because he is playing great. And then obviously extension through. We always see this. Good wide extension up on that right toe. We always want to see that. That means you moved your weight to your left side. So, hey, the golf swing is you turn back and you turn through, right? I mean, uh, if you forget everything else, <laughs> turn back, turn through. Don't get rid of that sway and that fallback. All right, so those are a few things there to help you with. Hope these videos help you. I love doing them. Um, I think you can learn a lot watching the best players in the world. Uh, I've really benefited from being out on tour a lot with my brother, Pat Bates, who is maybe making a comeback somewhat on the senior tour. Watch out. Um, but, you know, you see how these guys practice, see how they play. You can learn a lot. Okay, thanks for tuning in. As always, we love when you subscribe to these videos on YouTube. Share them with your friends. Give us a thumbs up. All that stuff's great. More information, Gary Bates Golf Academy. Check out our Thursday night tacos and training clinic. It's a lot of fun. So thank you for being with us. If we can do anything for you, don't hesitate to reach out. And we'll see you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.